Hello, my lovely Libra. How are you, loves? I hope everybody's well. Libra, today will do your weekly reading. This will be for the second week of March from the time you view this video or from the 9th till the 16th of March. We do have on the 9th in midday a full moon and the full moon is in Virgo and it is, tells us to ground yourself more, to get more organized, whatever was disorganized, to put in place, also to take one day at a time. Also, for us on the 10th, the Mercury goes direct and the energies which called us back or felt like us stuck for some reason, there is coming more fluid, more it's like easier for us also it's a full week of events the energies are bidding the full moons bring us huge energies also the next full moon is in your sign as you always know after virgo is libra but let's hear what we have from the garden dragons what we have to know on this full moon on this whole week and of course how those energies are playing for us all right loves we have spinach dragon for all of you and that means strength your strength will be very much tested this week or you need to have strength to go through something let's see here and underneath we have onion dragon release and yes, it is a strength in whatever you do to release. Also takes a very strong person to get over some things. And I feel here it is a Libra here who definitely do so. Let's see here the spinach dragon. What is tells us and how we are going to get these messages. The mystical meaning for this spinach dragon is this friendly little garden dragon brings unexpected strength just when you need it the most. When you are feeling down and small, the spinach dragon lifts you up and fortifies you so you can face any challenges with renewed vigor and confidence. Let this little green hulk inspire you to tap into self-empowerment, waiting to be discovered. Also, many of you, you might feel like, oh, I don't get this. And yes, my loves, you might be just at that point that you are giving up on something. Keep it up. Let's see here what the Lenormand tries to give us. What's the messages from the Lenormand? I see here somebody here very very much into somebody here but this person might be a younger person I will say Libra question this person again and again okay because I definitely see here people gossip a lot, a lot about it or it is somebody here says things but never do them till the end or it is somebody who just it's like for the word of mouth, not for the doing. So careful loves. Okay? It's somebody here you are putting your trust into, but whatever they say is not truly what they say or do. So be very careful. For some of you, you might hear about this person some news for previous connection they had. Also, I definitely see a Libra in love with somebody here and wants commitment with that person, but doesn't really know, should I trust or not? Because I definitely see you more mature. It doesn't need to be the age. Age is just a number. And I see a very mature Libra who put the faith in somebody, but you need to stay true to yourself, okay? Because I don't see this person fully honest with you. Whatever they tell you is not whatever they mean it. So be careful with who you are engaged and what do you engage. Also, sometimes is somebody who you are engaged to or, you know, married or committed with, that person might not be 
a real good person or truthful with you or not telling you the truth might not be honest towards you as we have the rats the rats you know what they mean so if people tell you things about this person here and there it's better to consider but always do your best to find out the truth okay because I feel here somebody here might say you things and you don't really believe it definitely I see a lot of gossip around you Libra whoever those people or those energies are towards you let's see here my loves what we got for you and how we are moving forward the overall energy from the spirit and the tower we have five of swords oof again definitely I see here is like communication is broken communication is like one over the other one or like who is on top who is the best who is the greatest okay and you might find out that this person is not truly honest towards you there is another give and take there is no balance between you and this person and i feel that communication has to do about this also somebody is jealous their jealousy is very obvious here three of cups here you are my loves king of swords two of swords i feel here you don't want to see this you don't want to deal with okay and i feel here the people friends of yours telling you about it somebody here is juggling you know yeah yeah I'm not a big fan when I do see here this five of swords and seven of swords okay this is definitely for you to question and also to pay attention to the those red flags here because I definitely see here somebody here might be friends with benefits with somebody. You might be connected very strongly here with an Aries, doesn't need to be. Could be somebody who is married or you are married with them. But I feel here is a lot of miscommunication in here. I see a lot of thoughts, a lot of air energy here. We have more air than anything else in here. Okay? let's see Libra I definitely see here you are going like a hermit at this time for some of you might deal with a hermit I see here definitely you are dealing here with an Aries Leo or Sag okay but I do see here is unrequired love okay for some of you this person might tell you things but I don't see them you know fulfilling those promises so be careful of that and why I do say that to you my loves because there is some kind of ending here there's some kind of closure here okay and there is movement forward and I feel here you are telling this person about this if if it's somebody here Libra you deal and you were the third party here I don't see that person honest and I will tell you why because they juggle two things or two people here okay even they have a lot of passion and love or very much sees you a very good asset I would not call that sad but I will call it like they see you as somebody very educated very mindful very good is like pretty much as they what they looking for but they feel you know into a situation that they are dealing and they don't really know if they need to let it go that situation or not I feel here they are thinking of you quite a while or my you might think of them very very much but it's time for you loves with this Gemini energy to communicate properly yes the communication is about love the communication is about choices here what is working for you and what is working for you right now I feel here it is this ending as much as you want to be with this person my loves that will be an ending and I see you very much reflecting here whatever this person is putting on a table it's like you feeling more lonely than you are in a commitment with this person okay definitely having this commitment will put you very much at that like why this why this person done this or things like that let's see here 
I feel here you you might not see this coming here. If this person told you I will come and reunite with you, I will be with you, I don't see this person keeping their promises here. Because whatever they offer you could be a night, one night, some passion, okay? Even you do love this person with all your heart. Something here, it is not quite there, okay? Yes, absolutely. They are between you and somebody else. Also, there are people here tells you that protect your heart, protect your finances too. This person feels the need that they cannot do that. Even they see you as the one. They, they also feel like trapped in a situation. Right? Okay, this person is with somebody here. It is between you, Libra, and somebody else. We have we have here three queens and two kings. Cancerian energy, Piscean energy. It's like I feel here it is a secret love. It is a secret relationship here. And it's time to let it go of something here. Absolutely. Somebody here, it is with somebody in a stable commitment but tangib is like he or she is just for the 3d energy here okay we have queen of pentacles king of pentacles queen of wands king of wands although i don't feel this person very much love their partner i see them loving you they have tremendous love for you. Could be somebody you're working with. Or could be even a boss. Although, as we have the Emperor in the middle, I feel here, by the end of the March, going in April season, there is some serious decisions here in regards to this person. This person feels like they, they need to stay where they are for their children. Or they need to make whatever decision they make in regards they are little ones okay they see you as one of very luscious person this person is not single even they acted like they are single they are not single i see here is a libra here you you might need to clear up the energy with somebody who is married or committed with somebody else even you want to commit with this person I don't see this person. It's like in and out. When they are with you, you feel very completed. When they are not with you, you feel very much like all over the place. So be very careful, my loves, because I definitely see here will be some movement in that phase. Okay? There is time for you to let it go here. And I definitely see here for some of you, there is... Some expansion here, as you know, the Jupiter is still in our energies, but I definitely see here Sag energy, Leo, and Aries is very, very obvious in here. But what I do see here, somebody here, it is committed with somebody in a 3D world. They are commit committed with you more in a spiritual energy. And yes, with you, they experience so much. But for some reason, they still stuck with whoever here. So Libra, careful where you put your heart into, okay? There is some arguments in regard to this person. And I feel here you will be a little broken hearted. So that's why I'm telling you, protect your heart. Whatever is coming here with this five of swords, we have ten of swords, which is leaving something behind and that is a not a give and take energy and the hierophant energy is like you wanted this hierophant you wanted this commitment to be a give and take and i feel here there is some heartbreak here because you cannot take this situation anymore and believe it or not for for some of you libra i feel like oh my goodness it's such a negative reading but i bet i doubt sometimes because sometimes these readings actually they are opening up the eyes they are opening energies for many of you to reflect 
for what you truly deserve and want and actually you are able to have into your life. So be very careful here. I do see here a Libra has two friends which tells you, hey, this person is a friend. Do not cross that lion. There is a, f a very fine line here with somebody here. Okay? There is absolutely a new beginning here after this energy here. Okay? Yes, this person does love you. There's no doubt. But I definitely see them committed or still have other energies who cannot let it go. Eventually they will let go because they do want to be with you. But they need to be very clear with their own selves. Okay? Because we have Ace of Swords in here. And that is speaking to me the energy of they also doesn't know where they're standing in here and in there. So Libras, this is what I got for you for this week. And I hope helped as much as I could. And for those of you who resonate, I'm very gladly. If you are new to the channel, please do subscribe for more content. If you are present here all the time, thank you for watching. Thank you for being part of this beautiful family. Many blessings to all of you. And of course, loves, we'll see you next time with a new energy, new readings, and new content, of course. Love and light to all of you. Bye for now, Libra.